What's your favorite scary movie? Lies on the dungeon, we come in. Scare the socks off you, for sure the shot stops all you Knock your locks off and chop your watch off you Lurking in the back like a crook in the black of the bushes With the rats with the axe and the stacks of wood is Hey, this is Crass's Lizzie, and I'm Lizzie, and Halloween's just right around the corner, and what better way to welcome those trick-or-treaters than having a jack-o'-lantern on your doorstep? So on this episode, I'll be teaching you how to carve a pumpkin. To carve a pumpkin, you'll need scoop, saws, a pounce wheel, newspaper, a kitchen knife, a candle, and a marker. There are various sizes of pumpkins to choose from. You can have a large pumpkin, a medium pumpkin, or a baby pumpkin. You can purchase pumpkins at your local grocery store or a pumpkin patch near you. In this demonstration, I'll be using a medium-sized pumpkin. Before carving your pumpkin, you need to prepare your workspace by laying out your newspaper and getting all your supplies near you. Make sure it's big enough so that your hand can fit inside. After drawing your circle, get your kitchen knife and cut along the trace line. Once you have your top cut out, you get your scoop and scoop out all the seeds. Once you have your seeds cleared out of your pumpkin, you can get your marker and start designing. Once you have your design drawn on your pumpkin, get your saw and start cutting.
cutting your design, you can push the pieces through. Next, you can get your matches and your candle. Once you light your candle, you put it in the pumpkin, and he'll glow in the dark. And that's how you cover a pumpkin. Thanks for watching. Hit me. I ain't the sternum this time, T, baby. Shit, you already know. You already know. You already know. Damn.